Marilyn, you've been looking at scootering. Now, scootering, I think we all know scootering, but it, clearly it is physical therapy. You're addressing it as physical therapy and you've conducted an important study of it. Could you tell me what you were trying to do in this study? I guess there were um, two ways of looking at it. The first one was to look at scootering and embed it in the um, F words for childhood development, which were originated by Canchild, and this is something we try to reflect in a lot of our practice. And it just very naturally fit into that framework, um, looking at function, fun, fitness, family, future. So it was a nice way to look at it and um, broach it with parents, you know, sort of saying this is a fun activity, but it hits on all these things that we're looking for for your child's development. And then the more specific um, focus of the study was to do motion analysis in our gate lab on it. And this sort of um, started with um, some research we did on kids with neuropathy, trying to find some um, fun activities where they could practice actually on eccentric control of their knee extensors for, for loading. And we noticed this in scootering and we thought, well, why don't we put the kids through the motion analysis and actually get a, a very detailed um, look at what happens when a child does scooter and we were excited to find that a lot of the things that showed up in the analysis were the things we try to do in physiotherapy to, to get kids doing specific movements and skills. Absolutely brilliant. In fact, um, you say the things you found in physical therapy before I ask you about the um, recommendations. Why were not people using scootering as a means of having fun and getting some physical activity before? Was it because you just hadn't measured what exactly it does? I think with a lot of things, people probably were doing it, but this um, just sort of reinforces why it's a good thing to do. Kids scooter all the time. You see them out on the, the streets in all different countries. And this way we can, you know, talk to parents and other therapists to say that, you know, these this fun thing can actually work on these specific skills, you know, balance, coordination, strength, extensibility. And so rather than just doing, you know, a, a list of exercises, the kids can scooter and be out there with their friends doing it. Right. Now, you're a scientist. What data did you get out of it? I mean, could you not give me all of it, but give me the gist of the important findings of your exploration of scootering? Well, first of all, to look at the F words, when we looked at fitness, it, it does actually fulfill a lot of the requirements for daily physical activity um, suggestions. It does work on balance and strength. Our, our EMG analysis showed which muscles were working when, which really supports it. Um, looking at family, one nice thing about it is scootering is low cost. A lot of families maybe don't have the resources to have their children in expensive recreational programs. This is something they can do. They can throw the scooter in the car, take it somewhere. Kids can do it with the f friends in their neighborhoods. It puts them more on a, a level platform for playing with their peers. Siblings can do it. Um, we if we've incorporated into groups in therapy and that's worked really well, the kids can scooter together and come together and learn a new skill and, and do it with their friends. Um, on the more specific motion analysis, what we showed is that it, it does work, as I was saying, the eccentric quads for loading. It works on medial lateral balance and control in the pelvis. And um, perhaps most importantly, it works on um, the muscles and the motions needed for forward propulsion. You know, basically the the push off with the plantar flexions, the, the pulling the hip forward. And these are all things kids need for efficient walking and particularly for running because the, the kids we um, looked at scootering with, the GMFCS levels one and two, they can often run, but they just need a bit of extra work on this skill to be able to keep up with other kids. So how suitable is scootering for children with various impairments? Um, I think it's great. The study we did, we compared kids with uh, cerebral palsy to a group of uh, typically developing kids, but we've also used scootering in kids with developmental coordination disorder. As I said, the kids with um, the chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathies, uh, children with autism, uh, children with developmental delays because it's a fairly easy to learn skill. It doesn't, 
it's something they can do with their friends. It doesn't require them to know a lot of rules to be um, participating equally. So it sort of fits the whole gamut of the types of children we see. So what are the clinical recommendations for physical therapists around the planet uh, coming out of your study, your exploration of scootery? Well, I guess, first of all, to think about the F words when you're coming up with physiotherapy programs, you got to look at fitness and function, but you also want to have fun with your family and friends. And just, um, you know, scootering is an activity that kids can do by themselves in a group, and it fits all the nice things that we want to work on for a gait efficiency into this activity. The kids do have to switch feet in order to <laughs> um, get the benefits for either side. And that's everyone has a, a favorite scootering side. So that's something that you have to focus on a bit. But um, we do that. We also emphasize safe scootering. We'd like the kids to wear helmets and be well supervised as well. So if you were to say just a, a very, very short summary of what you found and what, what it implies, uh, what would you like to leave us with? Uh, scootering is a great activity for kids to be involved in. Um, it, it sets them up for enjoying physical activity that will hopefully carry on throughout their lives. And perhaps to look at how we've looked at scootering and think about other activities that might be fun that could be incorporated into therapy. Um, because these are the things that are going to be sustainable, not giving the kids a list of 10 reps of this exercise. This is something that's going to carry on.